If you knew then what I know now, you'd be bracing your cheeks and guts for some pretty aggressive laughter. And that's because that thing I know, well, it's that our next act is a stand-up comedian. We've introduced you to a lot of stand-up comedians on Steve Gatlin Star Makers. They're the ones who amble around with a microphone and talk about funny topics. And if you remember one important trait about them, it's that they're very funny. Welp, I guess now you know what I knew then. Are your guts and cheeks bracing? Well, here's stand-up comedian Megan Stalter. Okay, so um, so Steve actually uh, lied about I've never um, actually done stand up before, um, but I'm gonna do some for you guys today. Um, so I have some jokes in here, um, and I just wanted to say before I dive in, uh, if my teeth start bleeding, it's just because I'm nervous, and that's not a joke that really happens sometimes. So, <laughs> um, okay, so here I go. Um, uh, uh, so can you actually hold my joke? And actually, I have to get to the right page. Thank you. Um, okay. Here I go. Here's joke number one. So I was walking to Walgreens the other day. Everything was on sale. Everything. Magazines. So then I get up to the counter. And, and I had to put up tampons on there because I was on my period. Disgusting. So my, and my boyfriend was with, and wait, sorry, I have to. I forgot how this one goes. Okay, sorry. I could, you guys can have a little less of an attitude. One, two. So I was walking in a Walgreens the other day. Everything was on sale, everything. Magazines. So then I get up to the counter and put up tampons because I was on my period. Gross, you think it's gross. Stop. <sighs> he did, sorry, he's going buck wild right now, gesturing at me. So I was walking in a Walgreens the other day. Everything was on sale. Everything. Magazines. So then I get up to the counter and I put up tampons on there because I was on my period. It was so gross. And, and then my boyfriend was embarrassed because he, he didn't want the cash register to, to think he was on his period. So he, right, so next to the tampon, so right next to the tampons, he, shut up. He put right next to it, um, nothing because I don't have a boyfriend. I thought I could lie to you guys. You probably, you, he's probably your boyfriend. Oh, I guess you guys can kiss during my set. Oh, my girlfriend's sitting next to me on a, a morning date. Okay, so this joke's really funny. You guys, my mom's insane. That's all for that one. If you guys, I guess that wasn't enough. But, so that was pretty much all for the punchline there. Time for crowd work. Um, hey, so what's your name? Eric. Louder. Louder. Eric. Eric. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to do some impressions for you guys. Um, so this is so a couple characters I would do if I got an SNL audition, and if I don't get one this year, I'm going to do something really bad. I don't really have to tell you guys what it is, and I don't really want to. So this um, one character I have is called the Sleepy Toll Booth Worker. And um, I just heard someone say, I see where this is going, and I'd say to that, shut up. Don't talk during my set. <laughs> so the Sleepy Toll Booth Worker. Um, Ma'am, that's going to be about... Two dollars. Thank you. <laughs> well, Megan Stalter, come on over to the intersection of Hollywood and or Broadway. Thanks for being on Steve Gadlin Star Makers. Thanks. Well, if there's one thing I can say, it's better luck next time. I feel like the audience was super weird and rude and giving off a lot of strange vibes. You know, sometimes there's a lot of interplay between audience and performance, and uh, it's we never like to put the responsibility on the audience to, to, to come meet you. You have to go meet them where they are. I feel like they're really, really jealous, especially the girl. That's possible. Well, we can dig into that. I'll watch the tape again. Um, 
boy, we sure enjoyed having you on the show. And what we say to everyone is it's great to come and give it your all. And you gave it your all. And that was that was great. I think I like you, but I don't know if I like everyone here or I want to come back or want to come back. Well, I want to come back if they're not here. Sometimes we put a lot of space between repeat appearances on Steve Gaddle and Star Makers, but um, but we'll put that down and talk to our producers about it. And thanks for being here. I'll see you soon. We'll see. In a couple days.